This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management with this week's market update. This week on the Street of Dreams, all three major averages registered steep weekly losses. The Dow was down 2.1%, and the S&P 500 was down 2.5%, while the tech-heavy NASDAQ fell the most, falling 2.6%, dragged down by disappointing earnings results and guidance from Google and Facebook. It was another week where good economic news was bad news for financial assets. We had a spectacular third quarter GDP print of 4.9%, and the Federal Reserve's preferred inflation gauge, the core personal consumption expenditures reading for September, matched estimates from economists. While Google and Facebook missed on earnings, other companies like Microsoft, IBM, Intel, and Amazon all beat expectations this week. The earnings outlook remains quite strong, as S&P 500 forward earnings per share estimates continue to rise and what could be a new record high in this quarter or next. Meanwhile, the stock market has received little or no help from the bond market, as prices have pushed lower, as yields have pushed higher, from 4% in August to almost 5% today for the 10-year Treasury bond. Investors' concerns are many and well-known. Fiscal policy, dysfunctional government, persistent inflation, and geopolitical risks. If you're worried, join the crowd. Optimism among individual investors about the short-term outlook for stocks continued its decline in the latest AAII sentiment survey. Meanwhile, pessimism increased. Pessimism is now at an unusually high level and is above its historical average. These are exactly the sentiment readings you would expect when the market enters correction territory, as the S&P 500 did this week, down 10% from its recent July peak. Stock market corrections always cause a lot of anxiety and fear. But corrections in the stock market happen all the time. And over the last 20-year period, the decline of at least 10% occurred in 10 out of those 20 years. That's 50% of the time. Of course, each time, no matter how seasoned you are as an investor, it always feels different. What's not different is the sage advice of the greatest investor of our generation, Warren Buffett, who once said, it's wise for investors to be fearful when others are greedy, and to be greedy when others are fearful. Hey, my son Ryan and I, we have over 75 years' experience of building low-cost, tax-efficient, goal-based portfolios. If you want a free evaluation, all you need to do is text or call us at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or just simply call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844 pl A-N-N-Y-C.